from Kiva Sara Baghdad, it's Lady Najahad with Rosada Lulbamba. Turunai Triar as Girls Core Host, Karzen of Rosama Obama, Barack Obama. And to quote the fourth doctor, it's time for our jelly baby with tonight's special guest, Satan himself, Ronald Reagan. And later, a little rock kid. I am your announcer, Cameron Nimto, extremist and terrorist, Jahar to give it up for Mohammed, and then Second, your host, Rusama Urbama. So, Vladimir Putin won the election in Russia, giving him another six years in office. But he was only re-elected because the ballot read Putin Bardemir. As you know, it's mid-season finale on American politics. Most people don't realize this, but our American President Donald Trump is just a reality TV star. Even though lyrically, Trump is political as in lyrically poor, to report in simple English, Trump lacks the ability to execute basic locution. <coughs> so, a camera walks across the entire desert, from Lahore, Pakistan, to Baghdad, Iraq. Then once the camera reaches Baghdad, the camera was greeted at the edge of the city by our man. This man looks at the camera in the eyes and asks him, What do you come with? Came with the ear, said the camel. <coughs> Guess what, Kieran Jong? What up, Osama Obama? Got a blowjob from a caramel the other day. How was it? Very bad. Did you know caramels do not swallow? Wee oui, wee, oui. you do not say. Yeah, apparently camels only spit. <coughs> also, you know how long it takes for a camel to climax? No, how long? Uh, usually, True humps. What about one hump? Don't be a chump. <coughs> Speaking of humps, I witnessed a camel towing last week. Did you see the whole thing? No, just the toe. How could you be so sure? It was a camel if you only saw a toe. Because it stuck out like a sore and done. Where was the camel toad from? A tight spot. <coughs> Kirin Jong Un, I got a knock knock joke for you. Want you at me? Knock knock. Who's there? R George. George who? George Sand. Was that a French joke? We. Oui. We got great show, Jahad Durwach. Tonight we have for the fourth president of U.S. of E. My cousin from another Muslim, Barack Hussein Obama. Also, we have another former American president, the devil himself. Ronald Reagan will be here later on. Kid Rock kicks rocks. Jahar to stay tuned after these messages. Welcome back 
ai me vrader mir putin en juru shab a purten tre wiri her fotte ketaitrum des aitrum is the reitir of other july gift for that special someone now available for purchase from the russian government your american freedom just for one payment of 100 rubles and two fingers shipping and handling extra and if you order now i throw in free copy of my new hot single russian love that are available on itunes Got our first call of Father American Freedom and Corby from my song Russian Love. To call your honor error. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. How may I help? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a disgrace. I'm Count Trump. I take your note. Have any interest? Take me down. Take me down for two. For you and your husband? No, it's just me and my cat. Later we'll be back. What are you eating for breakfast? Is it a serious cereal or is it certainly surreal Syrian cereal? Certainly surreal Syrian cereal. 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 The for real cereal that will certainly twist your tongue. This is Donald Trump. You had to know, if you were to put the blame on anyone for me becoming president, blame colleges. It was their electoral votes. Welcome back, I'd like to welcome our first guest to the late night of Jahrad, Barack Hussein Obama. <coughs> Hello, cousin. How has Auntie Kaboom been? Osawa Obama. Mardun Kaboom? Yeah, Auntie Kaboom. Or good, real good. She's the new Queen of Hats. Good for her. She deserves it. She really does. So I thought of a fun bit in the smoke filled green room. It's still kind of crumbled from our 420 episode. I told you my idea, which I got to say it sounds fun. As most of us know, not all Americans know their rights. No offense. But some of you did vote for Trump. You're not a kid. So I thought of a system to help everyone remember the Bill of Rights by using celebrities as a reference key. So basically, the bit is if the Bill of Rights were people. Hey, name Jihad says I meant it right. Now, Osama Obama, you've taken the citizenship test. This is right. I am a dual citizen of America, as well as my home, Saudi Arabia. <coughs> so you know the amendments in the Bill of Rights? Yes. Good. I'm going to have you list off the 10 amendments of the Bill of Rights and I'll finish a bit with comparing that amendment to a person that best suits. Sound good? Yes. Good, let's start. The freedom of religion, speech, and the press. First Amendment. As anyone knows, the ones at the forefront protecting the First Amendment is comedians. So, if the First Amendment was a person, it would have to be George Carlin. Praise Allah. Right? Carlin lived his life by the First Amendment. The right to repair arms. Second Amendment. I honestly can't think of anyone else besides 
Michigander Ted Nugent. I mean, look at this guy. He makes hunting rock and roll. I repeat, our heroes are crits. I actually can confirm that. The housing of soldiers. Third Amendment. If this next amendment was anyone, it would have to be the American military. And I say this solely because of the way American troops are treated when they return from a tour. Americans are happy those men and women are going out there to protect these very Bill of Rights. The majority of Americans do take for granted then shun those same people for what they had to do when they came back home. Real talk, the American military gets treated the worst by its own government than any other government in the world, North Korea excluded. You follow me. I just trying to do my part. My man, Kim Jong-un, the illest son of the Pokemon. Their protection from unreasonable searches and seizures. Fourth Amendment. Diplomatically, this punchline is a lot of coke. Because if this amendment was a person, it would have to be Pablo Escobar. <coughs> protection of rights to life, or liberty, or property. Fifth Amendment. I tell you what, it's not coincidental that Michael Cohen comes to mind. What's apparent about Michael Cohen's logic? I think I know where you're going with this. It's incoherent. Well, it's definitely not cogent. The right of accused persons in criminal cases. Sixth Amendment. If this amendment was a person, it would have to be O.J. Simpson. And if you can't adduce the reduce, this is right a few years to ferment it. <coughs> Rights in civil cases. Seventh Amendment. You know who doesn't come to mind? Rachel Dozel. That's why I'm going with myself. Er, boom. <coughs> Excessive better fines and punishments forbidden. Eighth Amendment. Osama Obama, let me ask you something. What trumps white privilege? Corrupt America. Well, that and I have Baldwin. Eric Baldwin is so lovable that you're only able to but love him. Eric Baldwin is so lovable, everyone said, tickle me who. <coughs> Speaking a right privilege, our rights kept by the people. Ninth Amendment. And it's funny you use that as a segue into the Ninth Amendment, because this amendment is the definition of white privilege. Real talk. <coughs> Undelegated powers kept by the states are the people. Tenth Amendment. You know who has undelegated powers? Pin and Terra? I said undelegated, not elevated. David Blaine. I mean, it's astounding how he can hold his breath for 10 minutes. Well, that's all the time we have. Take us out, Carzo. Jihad to return after this commercial break. There's nothing more American than Covenius. 9 11 Covenius store. All our clerks praise all our deals. Osama Obama at your service. Are you a jihad jackal? 
erwa agen herop you are got your papa wa pa essentials for the family barbecue on sale now jet fuel for 301 per gallon also candle cigarettes are 550 per pack or get two packs for ten dollars. Nine eleven. It's no longer a secret. <laughs> Nar er verbal for a limited time and paper fear. Rayham presents cannot do at all. Just solely showing only the best karma does a standard score. Throws of karmas that I don't let the be thrown around. Enjoy karma throw without your garbants. The most central of usual karma does solo karma in order to day and play from paper review channel. To have karma to to a variable for twenty four hours. Yow, Kid Rock, your jobs know we keep our shoes off inside. That's why this tie is in the yard. Welcome back. I am thrilled to introduce our special guest, Hri Rosaman, I looked up to her as a child, and I heard the posters on my wall to prove her such. I heard to praise and put all our hands together for the beast himself, the 40th President of the United States. You know his number 666. Six, the one and only devil, Ronald Reagan. <coughs> it's an honor to have you on the shore, Satan. Please call me Ronald. No need to be formal. Am I right? Good to agree. So, Ronald Reagan, can I ask you something? Of course, part of your entire acting career, which role was your highest bid gig? I once got paid to act like the president from 81 to 89. As an entertainer turned politician, do you have any advice for Jesse Rancho, for Donald Trump, as him for advice? I ran for presidency three times before getting elected. My advice would have to be third times a charm. Rives excluded. <coughs> Sir, I was hoping to get the lesson from the teacher himself in Reaganomics. Just economics. Reaganomics? Or I get it. You've earned yourself a jelly bean. You are definitely the dumb baker or American president. So how are things in here? Busy. I've had my hands full ever since Steve Bannon returned to hell. Or yeah? Guys and ass. Really? I had no, no idea. So any new projects for you? Managing Ryan Gosling's career. Let me know how it works out. Or the writer of the Danny Binihadv. Reagan, could you take us to the break? Jaha, just stay tuned. Sometimes a man hits the point of brow. Whether it be good or bad. A man can't express the cheap pressed on eyebrows. Only a brow of material can make a good brow. And our eyebrows are made from real beaver fur. Not actual beaver fur, but the fur from Justin Beaver's pussy. 
which is still our main export to this day. Don't be a hoser. Scope out the low brow eyebrow sale. So don't waste your time browsing. Instead, browse a low brow eyebrow sale. Perfect eyebrow with every purchase. We gotta stick together like our brows. Oh, Canada. Hello, I'm David Hogg. Here's your hard to understand. I didn't know I was getting into politics, and neither does the hooker. Hello dudes that do that. I'm Anthony Weena, or I like to go by as way for it, the Badger. So stay tuned for after late night chat with Osama Obama for unsolicited with the Badger. Where we'll talk about the latest cover of TV Guy. And also, we'll be sending dick pictures to Caitlyn Jenner. And later, stay tuned for Last Jihad with Carson Daly. And watch as he totally requests anybody go live with him. Badger out. Durkr, Durkr, Jihad is just there in your mom. Nor back to Rosa Marlobama. Terrorist and extremist breeze, but to hard to get for the security. I wish to throw rocks towards. Here's Giddy Rock, with rather be Republican than a Denmark can't. I'd rather represent a president that's Republican versus Democrat. Back that's not big news. Or Ted Cruz, pro choice for moist pussy to be hoisted for prosperity that don't grow up in poverty but grow up and try to claim it as they trade fame for shame and forget whence they came despite their bleeding time. John Rock. I am a troll named Erzikit Ryan very 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 rops seared What were this real hazardous material a good shit comedy right props up can't her man watch your to be real the murder east on a pussy in pressure without as Miss Critters being suggested this uh, good shit I am very mad, I am going to write an email to mother their inbox with That's all now. Watch out now.